Vice President Crows, and and uh, and and I I'm tempted to to, to say what she said, okay? because an awful lot of what I'm hearing are, are are positions which which I'm going to articulate now. Before I start, I thought I should clarify a couple things in in the in the bio I happen to see for the first time. Um, uh, there are a couple mistakes, and, and one thing that I just can't understand. Uh, the mistakes are, uh, I, I don't know, this is a very old bio, uh, that uh, it says I'm president of something called the Enterprise Grid Alliance. Uh, the Enterprise Grid Alliance existed for a couple of years. It was merged with the Global Grid Forum. It's now part of the Open Grid Forum, and, and I'm no longer involved in that. The second thing it says is that I chair an IEEE activity in, uh, in cloud computing. Uh, uh, to my colleagues at the IEEE, actually I'm not involved in any activity at IEEE and I don't think they have anything going on in cloud computing. I am chairman of a new JTC1 subcommittee on uh, subcommittee 38 on web services, SOA, and cloud computing. So I do have a role there. The thing I can't understand is I don't understand why my picture never has any hair. And uh, <laughs> with that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on. Uh, I want to talk about why Oracle advocates for open standards. Along the way, I hope I can convince you that all companies and governments should support open standards. And I, I will briefly suggest why some companies may oppose open standards. Uh, whoops, sorry. I'm a little bit incompetent here at the keyboard. Okay. I'm going to start out with a little parable. Imagine a company, a small company, new in a market, competing against very established, extremely large firms with products that, that are entrenched in the marketplace. And this company has a product that is totally untested, is a completely new way of doing things, has virtually no customers. How can this company succeed? Okay. One answer is grow using open standards. And you say, right. Okay. So did this strategy work? Small company was a company called Software Development Labs that was founded in 1977. Unfortunately for me, in 1977, I was working for the United States government at the US, uh, what was then called the National Bureau of Standards, now called NIST, National Institute of Standards and Technology. And I was chairing a